Well, let's, we'll start out here with the with the with the monthly chart simply to take a look at what we've been dealing with here for the last four months, and that has been the 2018 high. You'll see this this massive bar up was our first attempt, and then it failed to close above again. The next month we failed to close above, and again failed to close above. And this month, or should say now May, we finally closed above. It was was a was a tight squeeze to be able. We were down there just a few days ago, back below the 2018 high. So now we can start entertaining the idea of of potentially making new highs. And just just for the record, this is one of my more bullish uh, looking cryptocurrencies. I think the fundamental story is pretty solid for this. Moving forward, you can see that we had the big week, the the big negative week, and we've rebounded. We've got we had an inside week, which is of course not so difficult to do when you have a big week like this. And then another uh, inside week, which is something that we should be looking for uh, across the board in the cryptocurrencies. Uh, I really see a, a situation where there's a lot of indecision for the most part in the cryptocurrencies. I would ex say excluding Matic, which is one that's extremely bullish and on a relative basis, that's for sure. Uh, as seeing maybe uh, several or at least another one or two inside weeks here to allow prices to deal with the price compression associated with this big loss from now it's two weeks ago doesn't seem like it and, and we go from there then moving down to the daily chart really there's not much to to say here i mean you'll see how the the, the 200 or 2018 high really was was fundamental there we did have a close there but for the most part we, we went on undercut and came back and we've seen it across here so as long as you stay above there and keep the daily closes above the 2018 high we should see at least a consolidation in this area there's no even on a, on a shorter time frame there's no discernible pattern uh really at this point that i would say is actionable uh so i see probably further consolidation at this point unless there's a there's a large sweep and buying pressure to the upside in the cryptocurrency complex you'll note also that the volume has has declined in here, pretty much declining through all this. Is what you, what you want to see, uh, as this does consolidate. You don't want to be seeing you know huge uh, volume days on down bars. So it seems to be stabilizing. Probably you know, it'll be good if we did get another inside week, and then we march from there. Uh, that's what I see. Okay, so basically you're looking at potential consolidation, but uh, by the end of the consolidation period, you're looking at a potential uh, bullish breakout. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Give her, of course, the caveat being, you know, that the entire complex doesn't revert lower. Yeah. I think at that point, a wave of selling is going to impact all of them. Which, uh, basically, I mean, your 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 signal will be losing one point forty as support, or or like. Yeah. How would you well, time the? Well, a daily close below there mm -hmm. gets me gets me concerned. Okay. okay. Now, if, if it accelerate, I mean, ideally, with what I would like to look for is a weekly close. But some, you know, you have to be careful with that because a week is a long time, and that could turn out to be a test of the two hundred day here. So, starting mm -hmm. with a daily close, I get nervous, and you need to start looking at these other levels. This level here, one thirty two, these two previous undercuts, and 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 then go from there. I would, you know, I'd be looking at this as a tactical opportunity if you want to be involved in it. I wouldn't be looking at it from a strategic perspective, you know, taking on size and, and running with that. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. What about you, Akash? What are you, what are you looking at? And are you looking at anything different or maybe from an on-chain perspective? Yeah, no, I, uh, from a technical perspective, I feel like uh, there's a minor drop coming, but then again, uh, it's most uh, mostly the same as Sheldon. It's going to consolidate for a while before it actually makes any actionable action. Uh, moves. Let me just present my screen. Okay. Right. So before I actually get into Cardano, right, I just feel like uh, most of the altcoins right now are going to follow Bitcoin. So right now, like Bitcoin is facing this huge uh, demand zone here, and mm -hmm. it's coming down here. So this is uh, the structure that you see here. Uh, just, uh, this structure is being seen in a lot of altcoins right now and I expect it to follow. Uh, so looking at BTC, right, I just feel like BTC is needs support. 
put higher uh, as his uh, swing highs, maybe even speak to the highs. So if this happens, I don't, I'm pretty sure ADA uh, looks bullish uh, from that sense. I see a rising wedge on the one-hour time frame, and I'm expecting it to uh, drop another 13 percent, which is really good. Uh, another interesting thing to notice here is uh, my optimal trade entries would be somewhere in this range. Uh, for this swing uh, impulse wave that we saw here, it uh, came back down, found support uh, between this 0.62 to 0.755, then rallied higher. So I'm uh, expecting a similar sort of uh, price action to happen here. So on a very like minute, uh, shorter time frame, the one hour time frame, I'm expecting to uh, go down 10, 11 percent. And then rally higher, sweep the lows, sweep the highs. This is what I'm looking at for Cardano from a technical perspective. Cool, cool. And from an on-chain perspective, is the on-chain kind of like meets uh, what you're what you're looking at, like in terms of I don't know the support points or anything like that? Uh, nothing really. But everything uh, kind of uh, coincides. There's only one. Something Cardano is already uh, very close to its all-time high, so I don't see a lot of. Uh, resistance coming from the, the global thing yeah uh there's no resistance here as well uh, except for this thing uh, mm -hmm. there's a really good support of uh, at 1.69 not a lot happening on the on-chain thing everything is uh kind of stable uh the the addresses the last transactions you don't see any uh major shifts it's kind of around the same level okay Okay, so basically, what you are looking at is a potential downswing to 1.50, 1.44, um, before another okay. upswing, right? Right, exactly. So I would also uh, want to keep an eye on the weekly open, current weekly open. Mm -hmm. So we could uh, prematurely uh, stop the downswing here and uh, reverse. Cool, uh, Sheldon. What was the 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 resistance barrier that you're looking at for Cardano? From where to where? The resistance. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yes. I mean, there's a whole, there's a price cluster here which ranges from about one eighty up to one ninety. Okay. In this area here, you'll see there's a, a lot of highs associated with there. I mean, once you get past one ninety, then you can entertain seventy eight point six Fibonacci retracement, and then really after that, there's nothing. Okay. except the all-time high yeah okay cool so so i mean for, for the for the bulls basically look at 1.85 uh a break of that barrier especially a close above that barrier uh yeah, i would say a close at... would be mm -hmm. you will see okay cool uh yeah i i'm i'm also